Well, the matter has been postponed to yet again, postponed yet again to Monday, the 11th of December. Today's postponement uh, was caused by the illness of the state um, council. Hello guys, welcome back from Stay TV. Pano pa siloku pae nao zaka siyana siyana. Ma hafti siya tingwa chorang chupo kwa tima na enyika ni zingu njipo zaka tiko mbeleza. Maskata na wandi ni hafti jenda kubatri ipana pa ya wajia kupungari fume. Wa wataka wana last week wachenda kukoti. Wachenda kundonzo kwa apilingi ya wea wakange waita uh, maerano. Ni four years na wanga wapiwa uh, mchukuru maximum prison. Nukuda kwa kukoti wainzi kandu waruku neneri wakuti wakanga wachida kukwanzeresa public, public violence wakabwa wapi wa 4 years in prison asiji takazi wona meta ya wichi post upon up to today but nasi ya post upon again jakari uh, jichinzi yonzi kwa msuwe mande nukuda kukote uh, the prosecutor is not feeling well tazi wono wa jichinzi niruwa na mungu mapepa na wei kuma sasa social media katuwa ndi ajiti the transform Zimbabwe leader ajiko pungari fumis appeal against the conviction and four year sentence moved to Monday because prosecutor uh, is not feeling well. No, 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 well, the matter has been postponed to yet again, postponed yet again to Monday, the 11th of December. Today's postponement um, was caused by the illness of the state um, council. Uh, the senior wound is not feeling well, so he couldn't come to court. And then they had not allocated any other officer. I think the way they do make it at the NPA is that uh, cases are allocated to different persons and the, the new system, you cannot access the others. So we have no option but to have meta postponed by the service that could happen last Monday. Unfortunately, also there were no heads of argument by the state. So it will be heard on Monday. It's very unfortunate uh, development. Now it has to be Monday because we are also living, like I told you, because I will not be around after Monday. We need to have it ready on Monday. So the court has agreed and has also said do not postpone it again. So this time we are very sure that it will be heard on Monday. Monday. Then the court has directed that the matter be taken over by uh, Ms. Mafua one day. So Ms. Nyahunzi is now out of the matter by court direction. And so the NPA has to ensure that uh, Ms. Mafua will He has to ensure that the heads of argument are fine and he has to be ready to argue the matter on mind. Um, for our client, clearly uh, he wants his day in court. Um, he's very confident that he will succeed on appeal. So we have just encouraged him to wait for the few remaining days to go to I think we should expect judgment on the same day. Um, I don't expect them to reserve it. Because the issue is very narrow, like what the judge has indicated. Whether or not our client owned the Twitter account, that was uh, at stake. He told the police that he didn't have that account. That's why his evidence in the law court. And no one was called from Twitter. Uh, no one was able to produce evidence that he owned the account. They made a determination in the law court on the basis of, um, we would, for lack of a better word, we call it circumstantial. But they didn't even apply the principles of circumstantial evidence. The magistrate simply didn't believe him. That was all. So you are lying. I think that's if you want to summarize the judgment of the court court, of the magistrate court, it's just to stand there and say, you are lying. It's your say account. But no one brought any.